Hello again, I am Luther FM, hello, um, bringing you episode 29 of the So Show Euphony Rise of the Lion Say. Um, where you left us off last, we have played 18 games this season in the league, we're currently 6, so we're in the playoffs, so we could potentially go up, which will be really exciting for the club, and hopefully we will succeed in what we need to do with the say, get into league on, and that's the next part done. And that's that. So, yeah, so I just want to say thank you as always for everyone supporting me, watching the videos and stuff like that. Um, I've done a couple of community posts, um, image polls and stuff like that. One of the image polls is a thumbnail poll. Um, can you, people who regularly watch these videos, can you just let me know which, which image that you like when it comes to the thumbnail? I would really appreciate it so I can know which way to do the thumbnails uh, moving forward. So yeah, or my editor do the thumbnail, sorry. But yeah, anyway, I'll be back in a minute for the first part of this episode. Hopefully, it'll be a good one. So here we are at the moment. So we're currently um, fifth in the league. I meant fifth in the intro, not sixth, so sorry about that. And uh, let's just have a quick look at the league table. So yeah, fifth in the, in the league, 18 games played. We've won 10, drawn three, and lost five. Um, 33 points accumulated so far. We are... We were doing, we were having a, a good little run of it, but then we lost the last game. Let's just have a look at the schedule here. Let's have a look at the fixtures, results. So yeah, we lost four 0 to Valencians. Um, so offline, I've played this um, Coupe de France match against SC Colma because basically it was a it was a game I knew we would win. Um, annoyingly, um, it's played the senior team, even though I asked to play the youth team but it is what it is but yeah we won 5-2 um Kunzler Didot Patar Didot and Kunzler so let's just have a quick look at these goals so here's the first highlight of the game first goal for us Kunzler as a beautiful pass by Kofi manages to score the first goal of the game and we have Gil pass it to Matthews beautiful pass to Didot who just slams it into the bottom left, bottom right corner. Nice little one-two there. Didot gives it to Fatar who taps it in. Beautiful pass by Didot. Fatar with a nice little corner. And uh, Didot scored his second goal of the game. And then Kunzler. There you go. So I think that's all of our goals. I'm not going to bother about the... Uh, their goals so yeah so we'll just go back so uh, yeah not too bad at all in there so now we've got in this episode we've got games against Orleans, Red Star, Con uh, Concarnu, uh, Clements and maybe Nims just depending on how long it takes us to do the other games but yeah so let's just see how it goes from there so yeah Orleans next let's crack on with the first game so I think it's a familiar Line up. Oh, boss is on. Boss is left back today because Bastien's injured. Um, but I think that's it really. Didot and Kunzler are playing really well lately, so I'm hoping that continues. Orleans are only slightly behind us in the league table, so they're not going to be an easy team to beat. But we've just scored. Uh, Kunzler again setting up Coffee or Kofi. Sorry, I call him Kofi, but it's probably Coffee. It's two Fs. Right, Kunzler with the free kick. Is he going to set up Coffee again? He called him Coffee now. Uh, Didot scores, but VAR is going to probably rule this out. No, nope, that's good. 2 0. Look at that. Great start to the episode. Seven minutes played. And we've already won 2 0. Lots of highlights so far in this game. <clears throat> there we go. Nice tackle there by Kunzler. Get the ball off him. Not only is he doing well uh, in the like, attacking wise, but he's also doing well defensively. He didn't do very well with that pass though. Jinx of the commentator comes again. Oh, they've got a goal. Give him a chance to get back in the game. Three goals in the in the game so far after eight minutes. Do we get any more highlights in this first half? Do you reckon? Never know. Two shots, two on target, 0.28, but we've scored two goals. So. 
don't know what I don't know why the XG is so low. I don't even know what XG is really. I know it's I know it's expected goals, but I don't understand the criteria of why that would be so low, even though we had two shots on target and they both scored. And it weren't like it was a deflected shot either. It was a it was a clean cut shot. Ooh, Thierry nearly with a great goal. But yeah, someone explained to me in the comment section why that was so low. Would appreciate it. All right, two one after the first half. Second half, let's hope all the don't get an equaliser. We've done well to get that 2 0 lead. I don't really want it to be for nothing. Uh, all with the first highlight of the second half. That's a beautiful ball. I could see this is going to be a goal. Oh, and it's our former player as well. Viltard. Viltard, why, why do that to me? You've broken my heart. How's he doing at Orleans? Ah, my uh, computer's playing up today. I think it's very slow. Right, Viltard, seven games played so far this season. One goal, one assist. Um, been a decent signing for your Orleans. I, I do. I think I might end up regretting getting rid of him. Um, but I felt like he needed to be moved on. He wanted to leave as well. I think. Just headed it over the bar then. Right, 2-2, two, two, annoyingly, even though we're winning 2-0. Oh, God. How much do you want to bet all these are going to win this now? Viltar's going to score the winner. I've just got a feeling. Oh, thank God for that. Right, come on. Come on, Kunzler. Let's go. That's it. Nice bit of passing going on here. Quick on the uptake. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. Go on, Didot. Ah. Uh -huh. Right. Defus. Or Defus, whatever his name, Mephus, Mephus, it's Mephus with a D in it. Where is he? There he is. Delphus, sorry, I apologise. Delphus. We really could have done with winning this game. They could still win this, by the way. They, they seem to be the better team in the second half. No, they're going to score. Viltar's going to do the assist here. He's going to cross this in nicely and the player's going to header it in. I can guarantee it. There you go. Oh, <laughs> call me Nostradamus. There you go. Oh, Viltar, you've broken my heart now, buddy. Oh, what a disaster. 2-0 up after 8 minutes and then we're losing 3-2 thanks to a player that we didn't rate very much. Well, I did rate him, but not enough to stay at the club. Oh, that is such a shame. Such a poor way to start the episode. I'm annoyed at my performance and I'm annoyed at the player's performance. So here we are in the Coupe de France match. I've decided to play this one instead of instant results in it because um, we have got some decent competition in this round against Red Star. So I feel like it's worth playing the game. Um, we've got a bit of a rotated team. I did click pick youth prospects, um, but it's mostly just picked players that are just back up, really, in theory. Um, I mean, Delphus is going to play, Denver's going to play, Masson's going to play, Bayard's going to play. But other than that, it's basically players that are just reserves in the uh, backup, sorry. Um, but yeah, let's just see how they get on. Yeah, hopefully these young players can do well and get through to the next round, but I'm not too bothered about the Coupe de France, so if we don't do anything, we don't do anything. That's that. Uh, yeah, maybe I should take it more seriously because I might get a big fixture, so it'd be a good way of making money if we get like PSG or Lyon or Monaco or Marseille. One of the big teams in France in the next round, but I'd rather just play my youth players, really. Give them more game time, give the reserves some game time, make, keep them sharp in case they're needed. Uh, Red Star look like they're going to attack from this first highlight. Oh, I don't know what happened there, a bit of a mistake. Uh, uh, it's left to nothing, luckily. Uh, Delphus is 
I have offered Delphus out because he, he had a few offers. He's only rated at up to three stars. So I just don't, even though he's improving and training, um, we will get, let's have a quick look. We get 100K plus, I think it's 40% profit on the next deal. So if he does well elsewhere, we'll make some money on him. Not good enough. He's barely going to play when you've got um, Kofi, Vaz, Tatar in front of him in the striker position. So, yeah, time for him to go. He hasn't really impressed me when he's played anyway. But, yeah, uh, not much has happened in this game so far. Red Star seem to be all over us, though. They've got a free kick just inside the box. So this could potentially be a goal for them. Good, good free kick, fair play. They've got another highlight as well. I think this will be a game where we get thrashed and maybe I should have picked my senior players. Oh, Aniyamu. I don't know if that's the same Aniyamu who played for me in my Rover Rover say. Probably not. That, that was nearly a disaster of a defensive error there. Right. Cybol, you need to come off. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is ever so croaky today. Right. We need to be more attacking here. So we're going to do some... Put him up here. Put him there. Let's see if that will change anything. Still no shots for us in this game. Here we go. We've been more, a bit more attack minded and hopefully this highlight will be ours now. Mm. No, we've still got it. Rillot passes it across to Ravon Jero, Ravon Jero, Velo, Velo. Can never get his name right, it's too bloody long. The silver to Bayotta. Bayotta gets the ball back. Beautiful forward pass. <sighs> Masson was unlucky there. Uh, Denver with the corner. Floats it up. Hopefully Didock can give us a bit of class now and get us back in this game. Ooh, did not nearly, uh, nearly score down, hit the post. I wanted to put Kofi on, but we haven't got any more subs available, so Delphus, fortunately, will have to stay on the pitch. He's been playing poorly. So is um, uh, Ravon Gervelo. Velo. Ravon Gervelo. There you go. If I keep saying it over and over again, I'll get it right eventually. Ravon J.R. Velo. Ooh, nearly. Uh, I don't know what to do now, really. There's nothing really I can do. I've just got to sit tight and just hope we can get a decent chance against them. If they score now, though, we've got no chance. Good. Header, I think, maybe. A bit risky here by the defence, by the looks of it. Lost possession now. Good interception there by Ravon. I'll just call it Ravon, it's easy. I feel like in some ways we're playing well defensively, and then, uh, oh well. Game over. Out of the Coupe de France for another year. But yeah, lost 2 0 out of the Coupe de France. But at least it gave our reserves and new players some game time, which is what we wanted. And now we can just focus on promotion. Right, so we're playing Khan Khanu next. Um, just to give you a bit of an update on the transfer wise, we're going to try and get rid of Navo again because he's only rated two stars, not good enough. Um, Ravon, well, I'm just calling him Ravon from now on. Um, he's only 
three stars, so we're going to get rid of him as well. Um, and there's Bayotta as well, who's not good enough. So we're just trying to get rid of the players that just aren't going to make it as first team regulars here. Uh, make way for the next wave of youth prospects coming through. Um, so we'll just see how it goes from here, really. But yeah, so for today, we've got Kofi and Fatar up front. For some reason, when I get got the assistant manager to pick the team, he decided to pick Nabo up front. So I don't know why. Um, actually, I'm going to tr I'm going to trust my assistant manager. Yeah, Nabo's playing today. We'll see if he doesn't play well. I've got Fatar and Vaz on the bench. Maybe they're not hundred percent, but at least we've got Kofi there. Uh, Kunzler and Didart on the wings. Thierry and Gill in midfield. Bossy, Matthews, Diabli and Galvez in defence, and then pop out in goal. We'll get a hat trick now. Prove me wrong. Nice bit of passing going on here in the first highlight of the game. Let's hope this can lead to a goal. Slow, patient approach so far. Everyone getting a touch by the looks of it. Galvez drives it forward onto the right wing. Passes it inside to Gill. 1-2 with Gill and Galvez. Runs with a shot but misses. Not a bad start. Did up with the interception, passing it from the defence now. Yagni gives it to Gill. Gill with the pass to there'll be a one there'll be a transitional play here. Passing nicely. Even the goalkeeper's having a touch, look at that. There we go. So this leads to a goal, probably the best goal ever when it comes to passes. And it does. Kunzler. <laughs> I think everyone had a touch in that goal. Well, pretty much everybody, even the goalkeeper, had a touch. But yeah, Kofi ends up assisting Kunzler for a change. It's usually the way around. We look hungry in this game. We look like we want to win this. It's good. Kofi hits the post. I mean, the bar, sorry. We retain possession now. Leads to nothing, though. But yeah, good start. We're starting to build a spine of a really good team. A team that would be good in League 1 as well, not just League 2, League 1. Right, Matthews with the ball. Matthews is another one, he's playing alright. I wouldn't say, I don't think he'll be here forever, but I think the next couple of seasons he'll do well. He's still really young as well, so he can get better. My only concern with him is he's, he doesn't, he, he, uh, he's not doing well in training at the moment, and then get in Kofi uh, and then when I tell him to do better in training he just even Nabo is playing well 6.9 now we don't want them to get back in the game because from when that happened in the Orleans game they ended up beating us 3-2 so I don't want us to get an early lead and then it comes to nothing again see like that Stupid judgment there. Oh. Rubino Sabinio. Ruben Sabinio is still playing football. Bloody hell, he's got to be an agent now. How old is he? Sabrino. Unless I'm confused. I was only 34. I'm confusing him with somebody else, I think. All right, throw in to Concarnio. Oh no, I've got a feeling they're going to equalise here. Come on, get the ball off them, please. Oh, thank God for that. In their shooting, so that's good. Nabo gives it to Galvez. Galvez with the floating cross, headed out twice there. Nice to see a diving header on the uh, match engine here. Did I? Oh, I thought he was going to score that then. Um, right, another highlight, hopefully, to us. Bossy passes it to Thierry. Gil, nice bit of passing going here again. Kunzler, look at that. He's so good, this player. Seventh goal of the season for Kunzler. Him and Didot are only 17 years old, and they're already like polished, professional, good players. 
that will get better. We probably won't be able to keep them for very long though. Some big club will go for them and the chairman will accept the offer without my say. So, oh, it's a good thing we got that other goal. All right, let's get another goal. Let's kill this game off. I don't want to be drawing this 3-3 or losing. Uh, let's get another goal. Set them on nerves. Oh, for God's sake. Um, Gil needs to come off. Put on Rav on him in there, see how he gets on. Good ball, Kunzler. Cool. Oh, got another chance here. Did up. Oh, get in. Qatar with his eighth goal of the season. Uh, we're back in the playoffs. Only three points behind second place as well if we win this game. It's right, if you see my hand moving up and down, there's nothing dodgy. I'm giving uh, Baxter a bit of fuss because he's laying literally on top of my hand. Right, so... Let's see if we can get another one. We pull this game is out. They are going to. Oh, I don't know what happened there. My computer's playing up today, everyone. I don't know what else. Up. Randomly, it just starts doing this. All right, Langays can come on for Kunzler. They're going to score another one, aren't they? Yeah. They're trying to make this game as difficult as possible for us here. I feel like they're trying. To, it's just, this game is going to end 4-4. I can just feel it. Right. We can't take more players off. Right. So I need, we need very defensive. Time wasting. Make it narrow. Uh, play for set pieces. Be more disciplined. Uh, slow pace down. I think I'll do. Hopefully that will help us keep this victory in our hands. Time will tell. Six minutes of added time. No more highlights, I don't think. There we go, we successfully managed to shut shot there. Uh, good little win. First win of the episode, I think, as well. Right, we're back. Um, our game that was meant to be played got uh, postponed. So we're playing Nims, and then we've got another game left in this episode. Uh, just to let you know on the transfer market-wise, uh, transfer business-wise, sorry. Uh, we got rid of another player, uh, Rabon, who's gone to Red Star for 155 grand, rising up to 245. Uh, like I said, he was never going to start for us. Um, he's gone to Red Star. Hopefully, he can have a decent career there. We got rid of, we released Bayota and Navo because they just weren't good enough. So, and we had no offers for them. We kept offering them out and. I even offered them out on free transfers and nobody would take them, so I just released them. Um, so we're now playing Nims. Um, usual lineup by the looks of it. Um, Gill and Tybold's in midfield because of the fact that one of our midfielders is injured, and I can't remember who. Uh, and then the usual front four. So they will be a tough opposition today. Ooh, Guns are nearly there with the header. Goes over the bar. I don't think we're going to win the league, though. I don't think we're going to be champions. Breast seem just too good for this league. Um, they'll barely lose a game all season, I think. Oh, 1-0 down. Oh, but yeah, Yusuf Demir. That's a blast from the past. Uh, had a very nice Anderlecht save, and he was there on loan, I think, at the time. Could be wrong. Or is he there originally? I think he's originally from there, isn't he? No, I think I brought him into Anderlecht, yeah. Uh, he went to Galatasaray and then uh, Basel and then Nims on a free, so it didn't work out for him at 
Galatasaray, I don't think. But yeah, scores against us, annoying me. Uh, no other highlights so far. Let's hope we can get back into this game. Thunsler loses the ball. They're now in possession, they could potentially score from this, but luckily we defend it well. Because of Diagne, defends it well. Oh my god, Thunsler, that was just ridiculous pass. Thunsler, you need to focus, young man. They uh, seem to be taking the mick out of us here. Weisbeck's playing for them, by the way. Our former player, Weisbeck. So, you know what usually happens with former players? They usually score or get an assist in the game. Just let me do... I wish it would just let me do a shout whenever I want. It does frustrate me. This doesn't happen in real life. Right, Kunzler with the corner, headed out. Nim's in possession now. Weisbeck with the ball. Crosses it in, headed out by us, luckily. Kunzler now, let's see what he can do with it. With the Alcofi. Players just don't seem, uh, they need to concentrate, I need to, yeah, they just scored 2-0. Uh, oh, bloody hell, Bazinga, I know him, I've signed him before on other saves when I've played in the French League. Uh, he's a pretty good player, by the way, you can get him quite cheap, um, I think in real life he's gone to Ghent. But it depends on what what version of the football manager you have at the moment. But uh, no, I think he will be against if you start a new game. But yeah, really good player. I managed to sign him very cheap and last on FM23. Uh, did well for me. But you have to have players from Congo loaded up. Uh, let's get back into this game. Come on. Oh my God, we are playing terrible this game. Nims definitely deserve to beat us at this point. 2-0 up. I don't think we're going to get back in this game at all. I think if anything, they're going to score again before the end of the first half. Yep. There you go. Oh, dear. Right, I'm going to berate the players, see if that'll do anything. Probably won't. Never know though. We might get back into this game. Ugh, not not with shots like that. Corner to us, Kunzler. Headed out. Tie ball gives it back to Kunzler, loses the ball. Kunzler, you're coming off. You are just playing absolutely terrible in this game. I'm going to give Lafonte a, uh, a debut. No pressure on him really because we're already bloody losing. I feel like that. That uh, I feel like that dread inside my stomach now that we're going to just end up losing quite a few games now, and then it, and then we just won't be able to get form enough to get into the playoffs. I think we're going to be mid table again, but I'm trying to stay positive. Well, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> 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 Right, so we're playing Red Star um, for some reason, but it's basically the the Clement game that has been postponed twice in the last couple of weeks. So at some point we're playing Clement. But um, yeah, we've got last game of the episode now when we're playing Red Star. This has been allocated as a fan day as well, so hopefully we can get some uh, a big crowd and then they'll come back for the rest of the season. Hopefully, if we do well. If we do well in this game. Um, but we've got, like I said, we've got a pretty strong team. Look at, look at the suitability of these roles. So we should all we should play well. Galvez is slightly injured, but he'll start. 
Um, and I think that's pretty much it. We lose this one, I'll probably try and do a team meeting, see if that'll help in some way. Oh, that was a poor pass. Players who have been playing really well lately have not been playing well the last couple of games. They've really, really, their form's really dipped now. All right, let's see what we can do here. Qatar, nearly, just over. Oh, I thought that was going to lead to a goal then. Red Star in possession now. Crosses it in, headed it. I just knew it was going to go in. I think he's slightly offside there, if I'm honest with you. I think he was slightly ahead of our defender. But we'll see. See what VAR says. Yeah. Thank God for that. All right. Galvez doesn't look like he's going to be able to play much of this game because he's already looks like he's going to be knackered in a minute. All right, Lafont to Gil. Gil across to Bastian. Nice ball there by Bastian to kick out Didot. Didot now drives it. Getting closer, we're getting closer. Yeah, Galvez needs to come off. Um, try to focus. Galvez needs to come off. Who do we put on for him? I don't know. I'll let the assistant manager sort it. Right, goalkeeper has it. Passes it across to Matthias. Gives it to Bastian. You don't know, kicks out for Tar. Yes, get in. Oh, come on. They are. Mm, I think Kofi might have been it. Offside. Oh, stand corrected. Get in. All right, let's see if we can put on for Galvez. <clears throat> Is he a right back? Defensive, defended if uh, I suppose. Right, one nil. Much needed lead in this game. I'm starting to get a bit nervous thinking Red Star would get the lead. We get an end of one here, can we extend our lead? Oh nearly. We're struggling to get shots on target in this game. We've only had one shot on target out of nine. Um, I'm going to change something here. I'm going to... Um, I need to go on to instructions, don't I? Right, so what we're going to do is focus down the left and the... No, focus down the left, leave the right. Uh, hit early crosses, work the ball into the box. No, hit early crosses, sorry. Um, we'll go a bit more narrow. Um, play for set pieces, be more expressive. We'll go more direct, slightly more direct. In transition, we'll distribute quickly. And then let's go more attacking in general, and we'll just see how we get on with that. Uh, it might be a master stroke or it might be disaster. We'll see. Lafont with the ball. Shows great acceleration to get past the player. Nice bit of passing going on here. Bastion. Early cross. Oh, so that early cross. Instruction really worked out well for us there. We seem to be controlling this game more. Red Star haven't had a chance in a while, I don't think. Did up with the cross, but um, kicked out there. Uh oh, oh, I was getting worried there. 
Right, Red Star in possession now. See if we can do something with this if they miss. Good save by Popal. Very confident save by him. All right, we can't take more players off. Free kick to us, Lafont. It's parried out by the goalkeeper. Corner to us, Lafont with the corner. Lafont doing well since he's come on. Let's see if he can uh, help us get another goal. Lafont with the corner. Head it out. You don't know on the right. It's uh, oh, good tackle there by Tybold. Good interception there by Abdu. Nice to see he's got the confidence to do that. Didot is not very confident in his play at the moment though. Lost the ball twice in the last couple of minutes on this highlight. Right. Kofi, beautiful ball to Fatah. Go on, Fatah. Oh, I thought that was in then. Right, Patar gives it to Lafont. Lafont loses it, unfortunately. Get it back in possession with um, Doignard. Abdu. Oh, there we go. Go on, Kofi, please. Yes. Oof. Kofi with, I think, I think they said his 18th goal of the season. His goals have dried up a bit in the last couple of episodes, but at least he's got two today. See if he can get his hat trick. Still time. Um, if Red Star get a, a goal here, I'm going to be worried. Ah. 2 1. Still time for them to get an equaliser. Right, let's shut shop here. Instructions. Narrow. Let's just leave that as that. Um, let's just leave that as that. Dribble less. Be more disciplined. Slow the tempo right down. Direct. Time wasting. And then what we'll do here is hold shape. Regroup. Slow pace down. Possession lower, uh, stay on feet just in case. Stop crosses. Uh, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to leave it. All right, hopefully, we can just see this game out now. A couple of minutes left of added time. Get in. Good, good, good. Good way to end the episode as well. But yeah, good way to end the episode. So we're now six, which is slightly worse than we were before the start of the episode, but we're still sort of in the mix. We're three points away from getting in the playoffs again. Um, sorry, two points away. Um, like I said, if we'd have beaten Nims, we'd probably been in the playoffs still, would have been alright. Yeah, Kofi's got 18 goals out of 19 games. He's having an amazing season. The, the, the match that we played with Red Star got a bumper crowd of 15,000. The ball field, the exciting match experience helped to make the event a success and the club's attendance might benefit in the long term. That's good. So at least we've got a good crowd. 15,000. We do need to get more fans in because we are struggling financially at the moment. Uh, these clauses are not worth catching out, so that's why I'm leaving them. So, yeah, well, that's the end of the episode, everyone. Um, thank you, as always, for following. Thank you for subscribing. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please like the videos if you do like them. Uh, leave me a comment. It all helps at the end of the day. And I'll be back with another episode soon. All the best. Bye.